Hi guys, it's Dale with The Insurance. Today we're gonna to talk about an article that that's unfortunate, but necessary. And it's probably unfortunate because it's necessary, right? So the title of the article is Car Insurance for Disabled Drivers of Mobility Adapted Vehicles. Um, unfortunately, uh, though disabled drivers, they need to be really prudent you guys need to be really prudent when, when, um, when choosing insurance. Uh, as kind of profit maximizers, carriers will outright or try, let's say that, try to deny coverage for because of a disability, right? Or increase rates. Um, and of course, I know you're 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 kind of like that's that's illegal and it is because of the Americans with Disabilities Act. But there's a roundabout way that carriers can still achieve the same outcome. So denying coverage or increasing rates through a loophole. This loophole they use is um, through the mobility adapted vehicles. Um, so a lot of these vehicles have additional work done to them. And as you could imagine, this loophole was initially made for cars that were being souped up and enhanced to be used for illegal purposes, i.e. racing, right? So if you got some, some nitric oxide souped up car um, of course, a carrier should be able to, to either deny coverage because that car has so many aftermarket parts um, or increase your rate if they're okay with insuring that type of vehicle. <clears throat> Mobility adapted vehicle, a completely different circumstance, right? Um, but either way, carriers will use that to say, you know what, this vehicle has too many aftermarket parts on it, um, that's why we've denied coverage. Or this vehicle has too many aftermarket parts on it, we've gotta quadruple your rate, right? Um, and because of this, there, 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 there are kinda three things that, that, that disabled drivers need to, to, to kind of do when looking for insurance. One is just know, know the law, right? So, so, so know that you are by law, if you are a licensed driver, <clears throat> by law entitled to a fair rate and fair coverage and that a carrier cannot outright deny you coverage or increase your rate because of, solely because of a disability, right? Number two, you wanna be completely honest and upfront with the modifications that have been made to your vehicle um, with the potential carrier, right? Um, and number three, any modifications made, and you may, this, this may be kind of intuitive, but any modifications made to your vehicle, have them done by kind of a professional and a specialist so that you kind of take that card away from the carriers and saying that these are, these are aftermarket parts done um, in, in a shoddy type way. So if you go out and you're looking for insurance, with these three things in mind, and you've kind of completed these three things, you can rest assured that not only will, will you be properly covered, not just you, but your mobility adapted vehicle as well, but you also will be fairly rated, right? Um, another, another note to, to, to kind of um, insure, car insurance for, for, for disabled drivers is, <clears throat> there are two coverages that, that are typically provided um, or offered. And one is handicapped equipment coverage. And, and be, be wary of this coverage because it's very slimmed down and it covers only basic 
kind of basic equipment that's been added to your vehicle. The second coverage is special equipment coverage, and that's what you really want because it covers everything associated with your vehicle uh, and, and covers you properly. Um, so, so hopefully, once again, as I said, as I stated in the beginning, unfortunately, it's something that happens in terms of carriers denying or increasing rates, denying coverage or increasing rates because of a disability, even though you legally can't do that. Um, it does happen. So hopefully this article sheds a bit of light on it and, uh, and helps you or anyone you know that may be disabled um, find proper coverage for fair rates. Thanks for stopping by, guys. We'll talk to you next week.